What's up guys, welcome to V-Sexualization, Nestor Adriansen here again. Today I'm going to answer one of the questions that I got on LinkedIn and this is about how to sum hours, minutes and seconds in Power BI. But before we get started, if you are new to this channel, please let's make sure you hit the subscribe button so you will be up to date with the Power BI content, okay? So now guys, let's do this. For today's tutorial, we have two different points. The first one, we're gonna learn about the DAX functions to be successful in this tutorial. And finally guys, as always, I have a really nice case here. We're gonna put everything into practice. So now let's jump into the first point. So what are the DAX functions to be successful in this tutorial? If you are not familiar with these functions, it's okay. Please stop the video and check this source right here. So you will find the syntax, you will find also really nice examples, okay? But briefly, I can tell you a little bit about these functions. With the SUMX function, we will perform calculations, we will be adding information at a row level, and then with the hour, minute, and second, so we will extract in these values from the daytime type column. And then with the trunk function, we will be getting the integer part of the decimal number with a round number. You guys might be familiar with this in Excel with round numbers with that function. And finally, guys, with the format function, we will be getting the right format. So now let's go to the next point. The case. Okay. So find the total time needed to manufacture a vehicle. So this is a really, really interesting example, my friends. Let's go to Power BI Desktop. All right, so here we are in Power BI Desktop. And before we get started with the example, let me walk you through these two tables, okay? So we have the Dex Measures table here, and we already created a measure. This is just a basic measure, and we are summing the time spent, right? And also we have the Manufacturing table here, and this is the Fact table. And let's take a look at this table data here. And this table has three different columns. We have the manufacturing process, the worker, and we also have the time spent. And our goal here is to add every single time spent because we are looking for the total time needed to manufacture a vehicle, right? So let's go back to report real quick and let's create a couple of visuals here. So a table here and let's grab manufacturing process here and let's drag our first measure into this table. So you might say, hey, we are trying to sum hours, minutes, and seconds in Power BI. I don't know why you're making a big deal, and this is the result. Hold on, my friend, here. This calculation, there is something that's missing, okay? So let's add right here a card before we go into the details. Uh, let's move this into this place right here, and let's add the measure here. There you go which is basically the same result that we have here in the table as well, right? Okay, so there is something that is missing here, and this is days. So let's go to an Excel file, because we will see the details there. Okay, so this is the Excel file, and I'm gonna share with you guys this Excel file as well. So what you guys are seeing here, this is the sum of every single value, right? And this is the same result that we saw in Power BI Desktop. So now let's take a quick look at the first four rows, okay? So, and let's add right here hours. A plus 7, 15, right? 15 plus 8, 23. 23 plus 6, 29. So right there we have 29 hours already. And now we are seeing here 17 hours. Something is wrong. 29 hours is more than a day. So here we are clearly seeing that days is missing. So that's why we perform this calculation right here. So the final result should be three days, 17 hours, 20 minutes and 53 seconds. So how do we do this? These are the steps, my friends. And we're gonna apply the same steps in DAX, okay, in Power BI. So we are basically extracting here hours from from this column, right, from the time spent column, minutes and then seconds for every single value. And then we are converting this to 
hours, just hours. For the first row right here, we have eight hours plus 23 minutes. And then we need to convert minutes to hours divided by 60. And the same thing happens for seconds, right? We have 14 seconds. We need to divide this by 3,600 in order to have hours. And then in the end, the total hours that we have for this row is 8.3. 8.72 and then if we add everything here we have 89.3481 hours so our job here is and this is really important my friends let's convert these hours to days so we need to divide by 24 and we have days right with the trend function we are grabbing just the integer part of this decimal right so we have three days here and this is the decimal part, which is the difference between the total minus 3. So and then, what we need to do is, we need to convert this, which is days, to hours. So that's what's happening here. So we need to multiply this by 24, so we get hours. As a result, we have 17 hours, 0 0.3481, right? And then we do the same calculation here, we grab just the 17, the integer part, right? Which is 17 hours, and then the difference here, the decimal part, we need to convert this decimal part into minutes. So that's what's happening here, we need to multiply by 60, and we get minutes. And then we grab the integer part, and we have 20 minutes, and then the decimal part, which is still minutes, we need to convert this to seconds. How do we do that? We multiply this by 60. So in the end, this should be the result, right? That's how it works, and we're gonna do the same thing in Power BI. Here we are in Power BI, my friends, and let's start playing with this. So our next step here is to create another measure. Right-click, new measure here. And we're gonna name this new measure Manufacturing manufacturing time too okay all right so we're gonna use variables here real quick if you're not familiar with variables i'm going to share with you a link as well i already work on a tutorial so you will get familiar with that as well okay so our first variable is going to be called total hours right there equal and right here we're going to use this samx function So we need to reference a table here. The table is the manufacturing table. Okay. Comma here. So now we're going to use hour. Okay. So now we need to reference the spend time column. It's right there. So what we're doing here is we are extracting hour from that column, right? So there you go, plus. So now we need to use the minute function, okay? So we need to extract minute from the same column, okay? It's right there. And remember, we need to convert this to hours, okay? So what we need to do here, we need to divide this by 60. Remember that? Okay, so now we need to keep adding here and we need to extract seconds, right? Second right there. Time spent, right? And we need to divide this by 3600. Remember that? We did this in Excel, right? So now let's hit, I'll enter here, close parenthesis. There you go. So we created our first variable there, okay? So now let's keep working, guys. The second variable here. So we're gonna call this days total, okay? And this should be total hours. The first variable that we created, right? So now we need to convert this to days, right? We need to divide this by 24. And there you go. So now we need to create another variable here and we need to extract just the 
integer part of that result. So we can call this days integer right there. And we're going to use it right here, the trunk function. Remember that? Let's do that. And we're going to reference here days total, right? The variable that we just created, days total. All right. There you go. So the other variable here, let's call this hours total. Okay. It's right there. And here, what we need to do is we need to subtract days total. Remember that? Days total minus here days integer, right? It's right there. So then we need to multiply this by 24. Okay. And this should be giving us the total hours. Okay. All right. So I'll enter here. And now let's create another variable here. Let's call this hours integer here. Okay. And we're going to use the trunk function again. Remember that? So what we need to do here is we need to extract the integer part of the hours total variable. All right. So let's do that. Hours. This should be hours total. There you go. And now we need to do the same for minutes and seconds. Okay, let's do that. So there you go, guys. Now we have the last variable called seconds total. I'll enter here, return, right? So now let's give the right format to this result, okay? So we're gonna use right here the concatenation operator, okay? Let's do that. There you go, my friends. So that's the result and let's see if this works. All right, it seems like it's working. So let's double check that. So let's add a table here again. And now we're gonna grab the same value here, which is manufacturing process, okay? And now we're gonna use the new measure and let's see what happens. Boom. There you go, my friends. There you go. So now you see a different result, right? So we are seeing three days, 17 hours, 20 minutes, and 53 seconds. So this result is the right result, my friends. And now you can also keep adding more visuals if you want to enrich this report. We can do that real quick. So let's add another card here. And let's add the new measure here as well, right? There you go. It's right there. So let's add a couple of slices here as well, okay?
there you go my friends now if you want to keep playing with these visuals you can do that let's see for example the manufacturing process just for assembling let's select assembling here everything changes right two days four hours 30 minutes and two seconds and then let's see if we want to see how Luke Jones is doing you can select Luke here there you go it takes for him 7 hours 35 minutes and 58 seconds to perform the assembly process okay so guys there you go that's how it works and now let's go back to our presentation all right guys that was it i hope you found this helpful if so as always please give me a thumbs up share with your friends and of course don't forget to subscribe because you don't want to miss anything thank you guys and see you in my next tutorial